Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 4th to the 10th of October 2021. Okay, let's see what we have for you Aries. First card out, we've got healing. Inner child, shadow work, introspection. There is healing here. see what else we get two cards there i have romance wine and dine getting to know each other flirt and we have fear holding back overthinking okay interesting messages there let's see what we get as an overarching energy overarching energy for aries please for the week Overarching energy for Aries for the week, please. Too many. Overarching energy for Aries for the week, thank you. Thank you. Well, that is a flirty energy, Page of Cups. Maybe a little message, and it's a nice message. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Can be an energy of healing. The Hanged Man. Waiting. Two of Wands decisions. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? Clarify for Aries, thank you. The judgment call, judgment card, decisions. Can be an energy of forgiveness as well decision to forgive uh, clarify the hanged man we have the eight of pentacles and the two of wands forward movement progress some decision in terms of how you move forward <clears throat> seven of wands Pardon me, Aries. Okay. Clarify the Page of Cups. Let's see what that is all about. I think someone is apologizing. They're wanting love. They're wanting to press that reset button and start over. Presenting you with some kind of decision here. I mean, this could be in terms of love. This could be a family member or a friendship. But the fact that romance is mentioned, for some of you, this will be romance. Clarify the Page of Cups. Three of Wands. I feel someone's taking steps towards you and they're waiting to see what's going to happen. Sometimes it's an, it's an energy of the ship is coming in or that ship has sailed. I think they're waiting for your answer. The Seven of Wands, let's clarify that. Clarify the Seven of Wands. King of Pentacles. So now I've got the King and Queen of Pentacles. It feels like a very solid, committed partnership, relationship. Um... We have the Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles. And there you are, bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands. Let's clarify judgment. Let's clarify judgment. Clarify judgment. The star, hope. Yeah, someone is hopeful. I feel they want forgiveness here, Aries. I mean, that's the energy that I'm getting the most. 
this is it could be coming in a little bit unexpected nice surprise a nice message a heartfelt message somebody who is maybe making some kind of loving gesture here um, taking steps I feel towards you and really waiting to see what your answer is going to be you know um, I feel in this energy there's, there's some kind of significant apology or somebody wanting to offer you some kind of peace offering here. We have fear holding back, overthinking. So maybe somebody has been tentatively taking steps towards you and now is time for the big step. You know, and I'm feeling that kind of energy here. Now is the time to actually communicate. Uh, so there could be some kind of fear in terms of how it's going to be received. There's definitely romance for some of you. We do have a flirty energy with the Page of Cups, so it is a kind of uh, loving connection that you have. With the view to bringing healing to a situation, the star is a great sense of renewal. Um, there's hope. You know, when the star comes out, there's hope. Reasons to be optimistic. It can be a sense of renewal and rebuilding in some way. You know, as that as that water pours onto the earth, it fertilizes the land. So there is potentially new growth here. We do have a card of growth as well with a queen of pentacles, which can be a very healing and nurturing energy. In this energy, I feel it's two people, almost like two peas in a pod, two people who match each other perfectly, but there have been issues. And something needs to be resolved here with judgment. Judgment call. Do you give somebody a second chance or do you go in, the, in a new direction? The star is indicating that there is hope here. For this situation. And the message with judgment is, you know, we don't, we don't act rashly when judgment appears. Because our actions always have consequences, both good and bad. The, the energy is, with judgment... You can choose to forgive, absolve, or, you know, give somebody a second chance, or you can go in a different direction. But whatever choice you make, it will stay with you for quite some time. So make the choice wisely. And sometimes with this energy, we don't really know how something is going to pan out. There's just blind faith and trust that's needed, that it does lead to, to beautiful wish fulfillment and happiness with the star energy. It's certainly a blessing, a blessed energy. So this is coming into you for a reason, and I feel it's certainly divinely sent. Whatever this, I mean, it's because I feel that there are two people who are very well matched. So this won't be for everybody. The Hanged Man and the Eight of Pentacles. The Hanged Man is an energy of waiting, waiting to see how something plays out. It might well be you're not ready to give an answer right now. You're not willing to say either way. You need to get clarity. So sometimes the Hanged Man is that energy of I, I don't really know what I want to do. So I just need to wait until things become clear because it's a big decision for me. You know, and it is in terms of what you want to put your heart and soul into this. Do you want to put the effort into this? Do you want to put the energy into this? So, for some of you, you may well be considering giving it a chance and working through the issues. Let's pull a card for the hanged man in terms of any other information? It might well be an energy of, okay, well, let's see how things go. But I'm not, I'm reserving judgment right now. The devil. one more the ace of pentacles there's an energy here Aries of some kind of new beginning being offered to you the ace of pentacles 
it's a new door that opens. Somebody wants to manifest a new beginning with you. I mean, this is very good also in terms of money, career, finances, moving home, relocating, uh, new jobs, new business opportunities, a sum of money coming your way. I mean, but it generally means about manifesting a new path, a new solid path, a new level of solid ground commitment. And we have the devil with the hanged man. It feels in this energy I mean you might be dealing with a Capricorn here I've got Capricorn here and Capricorn here so I mean you know sometimes these cards can just be that straightforward so for some of you it might well be exactly as I said I'm just I need to either wait to make some kind of decision I need some time to think about this I need to get my own head clear right now. I need to find some answers in terms of what I want to do and I need some space to do that. For others of you, it can be an energy of you're waiting because there's this feeling of, of smoke and mirrors with the devil energy. You know, it can have that illusion of being highly attractive, highly tempting. Remember, it's a temptation energy with the main view to enslave and trap, keep you in a repeating cycle, and it's generally a repeating negative cycle of some kind. So in this instance, Aries, it feels, it feels you're holding judgment because you don't want the same thing repeating again. And that judgment card is saying, if you choose to stay with this person in this situation, um, normally, it's an energy of expect to get exactly the same, certainly with the devil appearing. If you choose to forgive them and take them back, expect exactly the same energy. However, with the star being here, I feel that there is hope and you're being told there's hope. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Page of Pentacles. I mean, this can be a message. There's also an energy here of, of someone's prepared to work, work on themselves. I mean, you know, I, I, if there is this energy of self-improvement. So I feel, in, I feel someone's prepared to work at this, but also work on themselves, work on what this devil energy is. The devil can be an energy of codependency, addiction, you know, it could be shopping, gambling, physical addiction, being addicted to somebody. It can be power struggles, manipulation, obsessive or, you know, controlling behavior. I mean, there's a array of things for the devil energy. However, I feel in this energy, someone's coming to you and saying, I'm prepared to work on me. I'm prepared to work on myself. I'm prepared for that self-improvement. Let's clarify the Two of Wands. I'm intrigued with this reading, Aries. <laughs> clarify the Two of Wands. Thank you. King of Cups. Can we rise above the situation and bring emotional balance back to our lives? I mean, you know, there, there is a kind of can we just let the water under the bridge kind of energy with this, you know? Uh, water under the bridge. Can we move forward? It feels that kind of energy. Uh, with but there's genuine love here and we have the two of cup sorry two of wands did say cup didn't I so you know for some of you this is a powerful connection energy the two of wands is a choice do I give this person another go or do I go my own way or do I stay where I am eight of wands taking action and forward movement and we have the seven of wands you know, in one way, this is an energy of, of determination, somebody being determined, uh, fighting for this. But also getting this energy, Aries, you as a fire sign, you standing your ground, certainly laying down the law. Things aren't going to be the same again. You know, if we go for this, things have to change. 
you have to improve on yourself. I, I feel if you do choose to go forward with this person, and the King of Pentacles generally represents stability, security, safety, success, you know, it is the energy. So it's generally an energy of something that you can trust, which is why I think the star is here. It feels that it feels someone is really wanting to change and work on themselves. And they're wanting to know if that ship has sailed or is the ship coming in. I feel they're waiting on your answer and I don't feel, I feel you're about to make a decision. Whether you make a decision in the next seven days is entirely up to you. Um, the hanged man certainly is an energy of, okay, let's take this slowly, you know, pentacle by pentacle. Uh, let's see how things unfold, you know. It, it feels the energy as well of, as things, you know, evolve, I'm going to make my decision when I'm ready. Any other advice for Aries, please? Any other advice for Aries? Nine of Pentacles. Somebody who is self-empowered, independent of spirit. Somebody who can stand on their own two feet and doesn't accept less than they're worth. You know, they're very successful money-wise in their own right. Yeah. The Ten of Cups. The Rainbow of Blessings. The Happy Ever After. Bottom of the deck. The Three of Cups. Coming together with your community you know, kindred spirit energy, you know, this can be celebratory energy as well, a coming together, a reunion. You know, I just feel for some of you, you are the energy of somebody who is independent of spirit, standing in your own right, in your own, you know, self-esteem, self-worth. So this is not an energy of, I need this person. It's an energy of, I will choose this person, if that's the choice for me. And there's certainly an energy of great, greater happiness, joy, fulfillment. Uh, I, I feel someone is really prepared to work on themselves here, Aries. Um, but obviously, there is some kind of decision. You decide which way you go. I mean, people have different life experiences, and this is a general reading. But certainly, the cards here look very, very good and very fortunate and there is a lot of happiness here. It's the road to happiness. They know that you're not a pushover. That seven of wands, they know you're not a pushover here. Um, and they know they're going to have to do a lot of work. But there is a coming together energy in the future. Obviously, that probably won't be because I've pulled extra cards. It won't be the next seven days. But I do think um, they have to demonstrate to you how, how much they have changed and how much they want to improve on themselves. Okay, final message for Aries, please. Final message for Aries. Oh, my goodness, we have transformation. This is my favorite card in this deck. The, this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. <laughs> so the cards are certainly indicating all will be well. You know, this, this judgment card comes with a little miracle attached. You know, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aries. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you.